the festival so far? Uh, you know, um, the, the fans, I think. Uh, yeah. Walking in and, you know, throngs of fans lined up outside speaking all different languages. Yeah. It's kind of an amazing experience to know that, you know, they, they've been watching this show and, you know, and all the other Shonda shows, you know, across the globe. That's been very cool. Though. I really like thinking that I'm hearing my name and going over to them and they're saying, no, I was saying Jason. J not you. Jason. None of that I, That's been my favorite. Everything you just said was a lie. None but of that you have to say it. No, with an accent. To be honest, I actually liked um, that the Jack Ryan. Yeah. That, that was a really good show. I was, uh, I mean, I don't watch TV a lot because I have two kids and you know how it oh, is. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. you don't have time. You're always being asked to get some orange juice or fix a thing or dad, where's my blah, blah, blah. That was the first time I've watched an hour of television with nothing else to do, and uh, it was great because you know, the show was good. And on a big screen at that, yeah. it was great. That's you cool. know what, I also give a little bit of that to uh, Mariska Hargitay for, yeah. uh, for making that Grace reference. Yo, uh, talking I about cried. Not only about she Prince made Grace, me she, cry. She got me teary. She, you know, to, and to talk about like literally the, the lack of grace that's been happening, especially in our country of late. And to make that, uh, and she did it with uh, respect and dignity, but also made a strong point. She you did. Know? So uh, she, she classy. She classy. She classy. <laughs> she classy. So you said you don't watch a lot of TV at home because of the kids. How about you? Do you have a favorite show? Yeah. Uh, TV is like our favorite escape from, uh, some, there are points when we're like, go to bed, go to bed, because we're, you know, we're putting Handmaid's Tale on. You can't be in here for that. Uh, so, <laughs> no. Yeah, you cannot you be really in the cannot. room. No. So, so yeah, we've been work, working our way through uh, Handmaid's Tale. Uh, just, just ran into Samir over there a little bit ago. Um, and uh, I ran through Dear White People. I, I tend to work out while watching TV, so that's my thing. When I find something mm -hmm. that gets me excited, if it gets my juices going as an actor and I start wishing I could show up on that show, I can work out to it for a solid hour. I have uh, such bad ADD that I can't do that. If I'm working out and something's on, I just stop working out and just stand there in the gym. <laughs> just stand there. <laughs> oh, right. It seems like you guys get along so well. What's it like? On, or just tell me what it's like on the set. Has there been one one particular moment where somebody lost it, or you couldn't, you know, continue a scene because oh, you were laughing? Yeah, that, that happens. That would be every day <laughs> on our set. We no, look, we we have a good time. Like we, we, we're enjoying ourselves right now, and this is just a little snippet of they, they, Linda Lowy, who does the casting for most of Shonda Rhimes shows, has an amazing ability to like figure out like a group dynamic. She's right. like, these people will play well together. And uh, so our favorite scenes in the show, I think are some of the writer's favorite scene, but it's also the toughest scenes to shoot. Because when we all sit down for the meals on the show, because these firefighters are together 24 hours a day, yeah. uh, they cook for each other, they sit down to meals together, and they banter at these meals. And it's funny, and it's fun to watch on camera. But they hate it because it means that the we're actors all together are talking. Yeah, and they're like, guys, please, can you guys please, we just, need to get a take. Just, just shut up, just please. shut up. We gotta shoot, we gotta shoot, we gotta go. Tell me about the crossovers with Grey's Anatomy. Has that been fun to do? Will there be more of that kind of thing? Well, I mean, I think there is definitely gonna be more. I think they really wanna make a world where, you know, they pop into ours and we pop into theirs. You know, firefighters get injured. They need somewhere to go to get fixed. Unfortunately, there's a hospital about three blocks down. Right. And, uh, um, I mean, you, he had a tough time. Like, he would shoot four days in a row on Station 19, and then on the one day that he would have off, he would then they would make him go do grays. And then he, sometimes he was doing grays and Station 19 on the same day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm an actor and I'm working, so I'm happy. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. But it's, uh, yeah, the crossovers, that's the funnest part is that because the shows live so close to each other, literally physically shooting in Los Angeles and in the show being just a few blocks from each other, it's not an event for the crossover to happen. They will have events on down the line where there's some major thing. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the next season starts off with serious crossover yeah. between the show. But also it can just be Bailey comes to work to say hey to our husband. You know, Mer we, we drop off, you know, Travis and, and, and Ben drop off somebody at the hospital yeah. and Meredith Grey comes out to pick up the, the patient. So it can be on any given day. So you got to watch all the time to see your favorite Grey's Anatomy character show up on Station 19 or vice versa. You never know what's coming. You <laughs> never know what's coming. TV has changed so much over the past 20 years. Do you think Shonda is in part thank, thanks to that or that's thanks to her? Yeah, look, I, I mean, I don't think she 
I don't think any one person can take credit for creating mm. it, but hands down, she has epitomized it. Uh, because, you know, technology's changed so much, the ratings have changed, there's a million ways to amuse yourself between, you know, a million things on the internet and, you know, cats mm. playing with yarn on YouTube and video games and the whole nine yards. So, shows started getting smart and started saying, rather than just always getting the biggest audience we can, uh, which sometimes means dumbing it down, they said, let's get the most dedicated fans we can. And, uh, and Shonda's done the best hybrid of the two where she's got millions of fans still, but they're dedicated uh, to her shows. And that's a hat trick that everybody else is trying to figure out how to, uh, how to master. Mm -hmm. uh, because, mm -hmm. you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a good place to work.